you comfort when they're nervous, you're more likely or you're likely to make them more nervous because mm -hmm. they're like, oh, you are understanding this is scary. This, I should be afraid. So you just gotta be like more of the, why the hell do you care about this? It's no big deal. It's fine. Even if you have to fake it, it's fine. Yeah. Especially out on a walk, even if you're like, it's fine. Like play cool on the outside, even if on the inside you're like, oh my God, there's another guy with a dog. Like, yeah. You gotta be like, shh, the hell, shut up. Shut up, it's cool. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you don't almost have to kind of separate yourself from them, but that's because you know that you're doing this in their best interest. It's yeah. not because you don't care. Right. And that's where what those trainers are probably trying to get at is not wrong. But I don't want you to come out feeling like you shouldn't care. Right. You're showing your love in a different way. Guys, it's important to remember that comforting a dog ends up being about us feeling good more than about what's best for the dog. And that's what I'm trying to get at. That's what I was trying to get across to the owner in this clip. And that's what I want you to understand from this. When we coddle our dogs, we are doing something that makes us feel like we're helping. It's not, I'm, you know, I know when people do it, it's not with the intention of making things worse but it makes things worse because like I said in the video, it's almost like you are justifying their fear. Even if there is a reason the dog is fearful, you know, I know some people get caught up in the dog's past, whether they know that past or not. Um, even if you know about a dog's past and you know they have a reason to be fearful of something, if they no longer have a reason to be fearful of that something, then you have to help them get through that. And you're not going to help them by coddling. You're not going to help them by telling them it's okay and petting and trying to cuddle. You want to put off the same vibe yourself, the same energy that you want the dog to feel. And you want the dog to feel like, I don't give a crap about that. So you have to act that way. Even if on the inside, you may be hurting for the dog. It, it's fine to hurt for them and want to see them get over their fear and conquer their fears. But you can't show that. You can't show that. You have to act like everything is totally cool and not a big deal because that's what you want the dog to feel. And they're going to pick up on that. So that's where in the video I talk about you might have to fake it, especially if you've been dealing with, like in this case, a very large, strong, powerful, reactive dog. If you're struggling with something like that and you're out on a walk and you see someone coming with their own dog and you know that's a trigger for yours, you might be nervous about that too because you're worried about, can I handle this? How is this going to go? Is this going to be embarrassing? Am I going to you know, scare this guy and his other dog or is he going to think, you know, don't worry about what they think. Don't worry about what happens except address it. And even if you are feeling uncomfortable about something you are going to have to face, that's the fake it till you make it part. You might feel that on the inside, but on the outside, you got to be like the biggest badass on the street. You got to be like, this is cool. We don't care about that dog we're crossing. We don't care about the fact that there's a cat or there's a car or whatever the trigger is for your dog. And that may be out on a walk. That may be in the house. That may be, you know, if you're hanging out at the park and there's kids running around and kids really stress your dog out. Whatever that is, you've got to just act nonchalant. And again, it's not that you don't care, but you do kind of have to act like, you, well, you don't care. You don't care about the trigger. It's not that you don't care about the dog, but you can't show that care. You can't show your love through coddling and comforting in that moment because you know better. You know that's not going to be what helps your dog. And if you don't know better because you haven't heard this before or you haven't tried it, give it a try. Think about it. It makes sense. Don't justify their fear because that's just going to lead to them continuing to fear, feel fearful. It's going to lead to them continuing to be in that place of, I should be afraid of this because you say I should be afraid of this. You're acting like this is a big deal. So you have to act like it's not a big deal until it becomes not a big deal to your dog.